Ready, set, go. Hello, welcome back to If on a Winter's Night for Travelers. Uh, I realized what I was doing wrong and why I thought I was doing the right thing with these records and why in fact it was not the right thing. It's because I was putting things in the order that they were listed, but not in chronological order. Because the thing about this lady is she's nuts. And she doesn't list off the locations in chronological order. So when we... Alright. Favorite family photographs? 1923. Paris. Paris, 1923. Vienna, 1926. Then New York, 1925. 1925. What are you doing, lady? What are you freaking talking about? Right? This is what I'm saying. So we go down to the parlor. We go to the record player. So it's Paris first. Which... I know that New York is the second one. So let's go... Verdi for the first one, even though they don't mention Italy. Too dreamy. And then New York. Scandalous. And then Viennese dances. Let's try that. What is this? Oh, it's so grating. What on earth was that? I don't know. The record must be warped. That was it, surely. But I feel strangely lightheaded. I should lie down, maybe. Maybe we should finally lie down. Now that we've spent some time in some in the parlor, maybe we should just immediately go to bed. Maybe that's now the plan. Oh, I can't fast travel to my bedroom now? I had the uh, I had the option to fast travel to my bedroom before when I was racking my brain about all these records. Alright, two bedroom. Two bed. I am in fact feeling a bit indisposed. But something is not right here. Well, what's the what's the issue? What's the problem? It will get dark soon. Draped cloth? My heart, who did this? Oh, the realities are starting to blend a bit. Because I don't think that was covered before. The shadow, it's... It's wrong. Oh, heavens. Okay, well, here we are. It's slipping through my fingers. It's gone. But maybe I can sleep and dream of tomorrow. There is always music tomorrow. Yeah, okay, maybe there's music tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow there will be music. We can, we can, oh, jeez, you're not even gonna actually get full, full body onto the bed. You're just gonna like, collapse. Okay. Man, I, get, I did, in fact, get copyright struck for this freaking song. Even though I don't know whole, how old this song is. It's an old song, and I'm still getting copyright struck for it. So, what exactly am I supposed to be doing? Am I transparent? Am I, like, fading out of existence here? I think I'm becoming a ghost. Empty. Do I need... His hands were never meant for this. Armoire? How useless. Do I need the... Do I need the drugs? No. No light, it hurts. Do I... Do I go to the picture frames, maybe? Maybe the picture frames? I'll show you Rome, Mama. I promise. What about the ball of yarn? All that cat hair, it's all over the place. Okay. Is, there an, is that another letter? Oh, it is another letter on the floor. I didn't even notice that. It blended in with the rest of the flooring, because it's all grayscale now. Well, pick up the letter. What do we got here? I need my medicine. Alright, let's go get let's go get your medicine. Let's go back down to the parlor. Okay, what is this on the floor? 
Cracked glass. Oh, right. I still... Yeah, I, I, I broke that. Yes. Okay, I am definitely becoming transparent. And I'm not sure that's entirely good for my health. Four, of, four out of five doctors do not recommend becoming entirely see-through. Display cabinet where I broke it through in order to get to my drugs. Ah, it's still here. Nice. Nice, we're doing great. We're doing great. Everything's fine. Everything's great and beautiful and colorful. It's perfect. Where did this come from? What, the letter that you already had? It is a letter from Lord Fitzroy. It is a friend. He is a friend of Henry's, if I remember correctly. Hope this letter finds you well. Wish to offer my most profound condolences. What? So daring as to propose an arrangement for our mutual benefit. I dream of holding your hand. Yes, a man can dream. Oh, to walk with you in the lushness of your beautiful conservatory. Is this a marriage proposal? Is this real, or did someone put opium tincture in my morning tea? Girl, you've been taking drugs all goddamn night! I don't th This has to be a prank. Nobody in their right mind would dare send something like this. I must find the housemaid, provided this isn't some lark of hers. She should know who de delivered this. I recall I heard her earlier in the foyer. Alright, let's head on up to the foyer. Oh, right. Is it to foyer? Alright. Let's go to the foyer. Oh, it doesn't look like the maid is here, but I heard voices. What is. What is hap. What? It's chilly here. Oh. Uh, why are this. Why are the strings all backwards and whatnot? Oh, it's the issue of Paris Soir that featured our wedding. Uh. Every maid, everybody made such a thing out of it. Many were shocked today upon learning of the engagement of the extravagant heiress of the Beauvoir Boisie jewelry empire. Mademoiselle Valérie Beauvoir Beauvoisie to Henry Winterburn, Lord Winterburn of Chatham, Chatham Green. In a move seen as in uncharacteristic for the socialite, whose friendships with the with avant-garde artists such as Germaine Dulac or Fernand Leger are well known. She declared her intention to move to the family manor in Wiltshire, England, leaving behind a life of glamour in Paris for Britain's green pastures. Despite the loud rumours regarding the ruinous financial situation of the Lim Winterburn family, the heiress insists that this is a marriage of love, and that moving to the calm countries, to the calm of the countryside, will be a welcome change for her after the frantic activity of the last few years. Oh, I do love it here so much. Well, that's good, I guess. Needs seems to be stopped. The hands are stuck at three o'clock. Maybe I can use that key to unwind it. What key? What key? What key are you talking about? What key? I don't remember a key. Oh. Okay. Bookshelf. Bookshelf. Display cabinet. What happened here? And why has nobody taken care of this mess? Ma'am, I, I, I hate to break it to you, but. You are what happened to this mess. Clock key. Hmm. I don't know why I didn't realize it was just sitting there. Nice. Okay. Let's see if this works. Uh. Hmm. It is too tall. I cannot reach the winding hole. Three o'clock it is then. Okay, maybe we go over to the bust then. Set the time over there, and maybe that'll have some sort of weird effect on reality. Maybe that's how things work around here. We're gonna saunter on over to the clock now. The clock bust. Winding key from the standing clock should fit here. Perfect, I can wind the clock now. What time shall I set? 
Um, zero three o'clock. Hmm, I don't know what I was expecting. I don't, I don't know either. I don't know what, you, what I was, ex what we were expecting either. Unless it's three o'clock in the afternoon. Is it three o'clock in the afternoon? In which case it could be 1500. One five hundred. Okay. Uh, hang on, bookshelf. What was that on? A treaty on clocks. Striking the lack precision and reliability. Average delay of seven minutes. Okay. Seven minutes. Oh, so is it... Is it 2.53 then? Uh, oh, two, five, three? It is working again. The mechanism is ticking and the hands are moving. And is that the grandfather clock? Is it working too now? Nice! I figured that shit out. Figure that shit out! Feels good. Feels good to feel clever. Feels clever to feel good. Great. The clock is working again, just like... I... I am not sure now. When was that? I was here browsing the afternoon papers. Lord Sox rushed in, the clock chimed. He ran into the conservatory. What had the little rascal done? I cannot remember. Oh, no matter. It'll come back to me. Now, about that Lord, Lord Fitzroy. There must be somebody in, somebody in this house who can tell me what is going on. Um, okay, maybe to the conservatory? Maybe check out the conservatory? Uh, pond. Flower pots. Water looks so serene. Oh, hello, madam? What is... What, what was that? Bench. So many times I have sat on this bench and just let my mind wander. Okay. Alright. So we got a whole... Oh, mind wandering. As in being bothered. I'm so lucky to have my very own Sancta Sanctorium. Sure. Yeah, you sure are lucky. Want to look so serene. Okay. Were you... Were you friggin... Puking into the... Were you... Were you letting a rip into that... Into that pond? The azaleas look lovely. Tea table and chairs. Probably the best spot in the house. What are you doing, ma'am? What the frick is... Are you doing? What is happening around here? Enjoying the morning sun with a cup of tea is something I never did often back in Paris. Uh, okay. Bench. Ivy? It's baby Ivy. We'll soon start climbing the wall. Okay. Plants. Plants. Bushes. My goodness, so many bugs. This needs to dream. Um, flower pots? Is this a ficus? I don't know much about these plants. Um, okay. A uh, sh shrubbery. Shrubbery. This foliage is so thick, a tiger could hide here. Okay, what's... What are you... What, what are you... What are you booking it off to? Flower pots. Flower pot. White flowers. Haven't checked out the white flowers, I suppose. Camellias are so delicate with their snow white petals and tiny golden hearts. True, true enough. Okay, what exactly am I supposed to make of all of this? Uh, Prophet's Paradise? Okay, 
far afield. I have killed him, and from a jar... Okay, flowers whose petals are whiter than snow and whose hearts are pure gold. Far afield. Right. Okay, okay. So, so then, so then, the white flowers are the thing to look at? Are the white flowers the thing to look at? Far afield? I don't even know what far afield means. I'm guessing it means far away. Oh, plants. Plants. Okay. Did I see something move there? I don't know. Did you? Did you see something move specifically there? No, not quite here, but there was a rustling of leaves somewhere. White flowers? No. Uh, bushes. Shrubbery. Okay. Over there. Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. We're getting somewhere now. Something's around here somewhere. There was something here stirring the leaves and suddenly a blur. A chase, the clinking sound of porcelain. The clinking sound of porcelain. We're over to the tea table and chairs. Yes. Right. Okay. Yes. Okay, we're putting it together. We're piecing things together. It's the friggin' vanishing of Ethan Carter all over again. Here, a scream of pain. Red streets. Then knuckles white like snow, hands so cold, so cold. Okay, then we go to the flowers. No, not the flowers. Flower pot. Hands so cold, pond? Was that, is that it? Because our hands are getting cold from the water? Oh dear, no. Or yes. Oh dear no, as in yes, I clicked the right thing. The water is no longer screaming. The water is what? The... And where is the sadness coming from? Well, the sadness is coming from the bench. The sadness is on the bench. Right. Yes. Yeah, because you're, cause you're sad that you killed someone. It is stronger here. And that, what is this sorrow? Why do I feel this way? This place is always so soothing to me. But these sensations, they were so vivid and unsettling. And the water, I could have sworn I felt. Wait, what is that? Seems there's something at the bottom of the pond. Oh, no. Uh but I am not reaching into that filthy water with my bare hands. I need to find something to help me drag it out. Uh, okay. All right. Well, what do we have around here that we can we could use one of them fire pokers again? We could go back to the foyer, and then back to the parlor, and then find something in there, or an umbrella stand. What about the umbrella stand? Umbrella stand. This should work. Nice. Great. Okay, we got an umbrella. Let's fish out whatever's in the pond here. Doubt it's gonna be pretty. Seeing as everything else has been pretty, I don't expect this will continue. What do we got here? What? Oh, jeez. What? What are we looking at? My lord. My dear lord. Oh, is it a cat? What happened to you? Who did this? Did nobody see anything? Where is everybody? Help. I must find help. Uh, what was, oh, it is Lord Socks, isn't it? It is absolutely Lord, Lord Socks. 
Oh, heavens. Did you kill your cat, ma'am? There has to be somebody here. There has to be. Oh, why is the ghost here again? What? What's happened? Why are we crying? Hello? Can anybody hear me? A uh, newspaper? I don't understand. I left this on the table. Am I going mad? Well, going less as much gone. But this is not the Paris Soir. It's the London Evening Standard. Many were shocked today upon learning of the passing of Henry Winterburn, Lord Winterburn of Chatham Green, in a tragic automobile accident. As the car in which he was riding rode up towards the driveway of the Winterburn Manor, the family cat, which had been missing for days, dashed onto the road in front of the vehicle. The chauffeur gave the driving wheel a sharp turn. No, 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 Henry, dead. This is absurd. He's here. He's upstairs. I was waiting for him to come home, but he never arrived because he was here the whole time. Of course. How silly of me. That's it. He must be in his study. He'll know what to do. He's in his study. He's upstairs. He'll know. I need to see him. I need to see him now. Oh, this is a bad time for us to be dro droning out. This is a bad time for things to be, uh, to be going sour. Or more sour than they've already been going. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie me. Oh, heavens. Oh, this is a bad time, isn't it? Oh, great. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay, Henry's study. Let's get going here. Let's let's hustle. Careful you don't step on the, on the broken glass. Henry, are you there? Henry? Henry? Oh. He's not... What have they done to you? Where's Henry? Where the... F why did they hide you from me? I've missed you so much, my love. I've been away for a while, but I'm here now. Bruh. Henry, I did something terrible. It wasn't his fault. He didn't deserve it. But it hurt so much when you left. And I had such dreams, such terrible dreams. But I found you now. And I'm never going to let them take you away from me again. Okay, well, what does that mean exactly? I just need one more sip of my medicine. And then I'll come back for you and take you home. We are going to Paris, my love. Harry. Okay, ma'am, you, you, whatever you say. Whatever you say, ma'am. Careful with the glass. Oh boy, you know, call it a hunch, I don't think this is going to end very well for her. I don't think she's going to get herself a, a, a happy ending of, of any sort. Hate to, hate to be a, a pessimist in times like these, but uh, I really don't think this is going to go too well. Yeah. Oh. Look at this. What is this? What's going on? Envelope. Another one of those awful letters. I guess so. No, it's an invitation to a masked ball. How delightful. Did Henry send this? Will he be there? Oh, I hope so. What a surprise that would be. This must be my mask, then. It's so beautiful. Okay, well, all right, ma'am. Great. She's died. She's dead. She's been deadened. Been killed, did. Deathed. And I was expecting Henry to meet me here, yet I can't seem to find him. Right, well, to see the thing about it. it but he must have, must be here. Who else could have sent that invitation? Interesting. I have been asking myself the same question. The same question. I'm sorry, and you are? Apollo. Oh, 
Uh, apologies. My name is Jordan Samuels. I'm a doctor. Your conversation caught my attention because I too cannot recall boarding this train or even waiting at any station. Given the weather outside, I reckon I must have surely brought a goat with me. Yet there seems to be no cloakroom anywhere. I have a attempted to bring this up with some of the other guests, but unlike you, they do not seem to be bothered by it. Cannot explain it, but I feel like I... We should not be here. What do you mean by that, Dot? What do you mean by that, Doctor? Where else do you reckon you should be? I'm not sure you would even believe me if I told you, ma'am. Oh, don't you worry about that, dear. If you only knew how much these old eyes have seen. I'm sticking to that voice for the old lady. I doubt anything could surprise me at this point. Please, sir, I think we all wish to hear what you have to say. I for, I for one most definitely do. Very well. I guess I should start at the beginning then. I've been working late into the night. Ah, we're getting into the third traveler, the Nameless Ritual. Interesting. Okay. Oh. Oh, we're doing some surgery. And through this incision here, we can observe that the pancreas shows signs of inflammation. This tells us that the patient likely suffered from... Dr. Samuels. Uh... Alcoholism? Well, this surely indicates that... Excuse me, Dr. Hayward. Yes, Mr. Lowell. Why are you talking to the janitor? Oh. Uh, now, now, boys, calm down. Ah. Uh, Dr. Samuels, you were saying? Uh, well, it, I guess it's not alcoholism. Let's try gallstones. See if that elicits a explicitly racist remark. Yes, from f this first glance, we can infer that... It doesn't look like a duck did it me. More like a headlamp. Keep an eye on the scalpels, Dr. Hayward. He, we, we don't want him to stick us up. Ray, okay. Yeah, he could blind us, rub us blind and disappear in the shadows. Wow. Very funny, boys. Very funny. I bet he's stealing material from the infirmity. Yeah, to show it to whatever criminal element he didn't go with. Check his pockets, Dr. Iwood. Some supplies have in fact gone missing lately. See? I knew it. Let's search him. Ah, jeez. Somebody hold him. Oh, jeez. Oh, heavens. The nightmares are getting worse. With every day of fasting, I have felt my will slipping further and further. But the day marks the 33rd day. Today I can complete the ritual. I must carry out the final preparations. There is no time to lose. Uh, what are you doing there, Samuels? It's those buffoons. Soon they will know what I'm really capable of. Uh-huh. But what, when you say what you're actually capable of, what, what are you referring to exactly? Beyond the veil. Uh... If I perform the ritual correctly, the Guardian should manifest himself in the mirror. If I face him with courage, he shall grant me power beyond all imagining. But if there is fear in my heart, well, I have nothing to lose anyway. Okay, uh, so then what about that, beyond the veil? It is a lower magical process to make the Guardian of the Threshold physically visible by producing a particular mixture of a number of substances. A truly terrible spectral being confronts the magician, and he will need all the presence of mind and faith in the security of his bed. Seek not, then, to cross the threshold until thou dost feel thyself entirely free from fear and ready for the highest responsibility. Okay. Oh, the neighbors again. Always the same fighting and screaming. Okay. Well, what about that? Should I, uh, to corridor? I should take Mr. Williams' morphine with me. 
think I left it in my jacket pocket. Okay, well, yeah, grab yourself some morphine if, if you feel you need it. I should take it to him before I get started. My career at the hospital is already on shaking, shaky ground. The last thing I need is to be caught taking supplies home. But his tuberculosis is terminal, and this is the only thing that can grant him some relief at this point. Okay, well, let's get on out of here, I guess. Get this man his, his morphine. Do what you gotta do, my friend. Street exit, apartment, BO2, BO1. These stairs lead up onto the street. I have nothing to do out there. I should give Mr. Williams his morphine and go back to my preparations. Uh, which one is... Well, which one is Mr. Williams? Johnsons are always fighting. One of these days it will end in tragedy. I tried intervening once, but they almost beat me up. Some things never really change, even here. That's some good fight audio. Some good argument audio. Argue ar ar arguo. Argument. I don't know. Hello, Mr. Williams? S good evening, Mrs. Williams. Dr. Samuels, I'm so glad to see you. I was worried you wouldn't come. I apologize. I got held up at the hospital today. How's he doing? Not good, doctor. Not good. He can't barely breathe no more. And that cough, it ain't never been this bad before. Do you think he's... I am so sorry, Mrs. Williams. I wish I could do something. Despite all the medical advances of our era, consumption is a battle we've yet to win. But this will help with the pain, at least. Thank you, Dr. Samuels. Bless your soul. Thank you. No need to thank me, Mrs. Williams. It is my sacred duty. Go to him now. He needs you. Yes, yes, of course. Thank you so much. Aw. Good night, Dr. Samuels. Bless you. Bless you too, Mrs. Williams. Now I need to go summon some sort of magical being in order to get incomprehensible power. So, I'm going to get right back to that. Uh, now, Fiery Summons, Atame, my Ritual Dagger. I will need it later. Okay, Fiery Summons by H. Zhidkova. Zhidkova. Madam Zhidkova's Forbidden Opus in six volumes. This is the passage I need. The sun burns in golden flames. A violet mantle shall devour me Mercury. Mercury. Cast ye the symbol of Venus upon flames of emerald. And engulf in crimson all that belongs to Mars. A, rage, a raging azure inferno for Jupiter. A black grave for Saturn. I think I have it memorized now. I don't. I don't have it memorized now. I definitely don't. Planetary Correspondences, Herb Jars. Alright, I can begin the final preparations now. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Uh, what? What? Uh. Uh, hang on. Hang on. I don't know. I'm just gonna try something. I know for a fact I am not getting any of this right. Yeah, no, I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I should consult my books again. Knowledge is nothing but itself, by itself, without a strong mind to make use of it. Okay, Beyond the Veil, Astral Shart. Astral Shart! <laughs> Stars are right. Mars, Venus, and Saturn are on a line tonight. After months of enduring their mockery with fists and ten teeth clenched, after months of study and discipline, the moment has arrived. The moment to reach out to forces beyond this world. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, fiery summons, herb jars. Planetary correspondences is what I should be reading. Should have read that first. This is the most complete treaty I have found on the esoteric use of herbs and plants. This is the passage I need. The sun shines on the heliotrope. Mercury smells of... Okay, hang on. Hang on. 
Hang on. Ah, jeez. Oh, no. Okay. I don't have it memorized. I need to write this down. Sun. Heliotrope. Mercury. This up. Wormwood. Mars. Uh, Sage. Jupiter. Okay, there were two other ones that I didn't catch. Uh, Venus Rose. Okay. Hemlock Saturn. Okay, now that I've got that. So then... Uh, back to this. Sun burns in golden flames. Sun, Sun Mercury. So Heliot. Wait, what? Okay, hang on. Hang on. This is Iron Bowl. Iron Bowl co covered in red rust. Right. So red. Golden flames. Violet mantle. I don't have any purple. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. This is so much. Mars, Venus, and Saturn. Okay, those are the ones that I only... Mars, Venus, and Saturn are the only ones that I need to worry about. Okay. Alright. So, reading this again. Sun, don't worry about it. Mercury, Mercury, don't need to worry about it. Venus, green. Green. Mars, red. Black for Saturn. Okay. Great. Alright, so red, green, black is what we have. So, for the, for the herb jars, for the red one, we need wormwood. Wormwood goes in the iron bowl. Great. Then we need the rose in the green bowl. Rose in the green bowl. And then finally, we need hemlock in the black bowl. Hemlock in the Black Bowl. See how that goes. How's how's that looking? Eh? The elements are aligned. Now I must mark my skin with blood. One small cut in each spot shall suffice. Okay, where's my knife? Tommy is dying. Okay, let's see how this goes. There's no uh, flesh. Wait. No, my hand is hesitating. This doesn't feel right. I must start again. Wound man. What does this mean? What's this about? The wound man, an ancient medical illustration showing different types of injuries and diseases. This one has some particularly interesting notes. The sun rules the intellect. Venus makes the heart yearn. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Okay. Hang on. Hungers for power. What? Okay, Saturn is genitals. I guess. Let me read this again. Sun... Venus, it's the heart. Mars wields the sword. So, the right hand? Okay. Alright. Okay. So, I need the right hand. Ooh, yeah, that's gonna hurt. Uh, but then we go for the heart. Chest. Yep. Yep. 
And then the real, the real hefty one, we gotta go for the groin, sir. I don't, I don't like it much either. Yep, that was it. Time to enter the magic circle. We've done our duty and now it's time to enter the magic circle. It's magic circle time. Magic circle time. What's gonna happen? Oh boy. Oh good. What? What is this? This is not what I expected. Am I meant to cross over? Go to him. So be it then. Al dente fortuna yuvat. Indeed. Al dente fortuna yuvat. Indeed. Oh, this is odd. This is a tad strange. Where am I? Is this really the other side? And that there must be the guardian at long last. I must remain calm and focused. I prepared myself for this moment. I am worthy. All right, well, we're gonna find out if we're worthy in the next episode. So, thank you very much for watching. I am enjoying this so very, very much. And I hope you are too. Uh, this is so interesting. I'm really enjoying it. Um, so, hopefully you stick around for the, for the next episode. I'm gonna try and finish it in the next episode. Um, but in either case, thank you so much for watching. If you're, if you like the video, maybe you want to click the like button. If you got thoughts, uh, ideas, concerns, theories, put them in the comments. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, maybe this is a good time to do that. You can also ring the bell, um, buy merch, support me on Kofi, do whatever you like. Um, and yeah, thanks so much. I'll see you later.